struggled this year. Mike Berge, I think, is doing a, a good job in trying to rebuild that program. They're very young. Uh, the one thing that is going to be key for us offensively is the fact that they don't sit in a, uh, a consistent defense. They will give you a number of different looks. And we've seen, uh, we've seen a traditional 4-4 four -four front against them uh, that they've ran here in, in recent weeks. They've run a using now with, uh, with a lot of success as far as moving linebackers around and trying to create uh, pressure on offenses. And with the wing T, it's something that uh, we had some problems in our last two uh, big games against Hills over Mark Carmel with defense is getting pressure and penetrating into the offensive side of the ball. So, uh, you know, that's something that even though they've struggled uh, uh, this season, you know, they're going to give us that uh, aspect of the game that we're going to have to uh, be ready for is the fact that they change fronts frequently uh, on defense and we're going to have to... Uh, pay close attention to our assignments and execute. On the offensive side of the ball, uh, don't, don't mix up the running pass. Now, the last game they showed a lot of uh, shotgun formation, they had an unbalanced line. So again, they're in a situation they have nothing to lose and we're going to see a variety from their offense and uh, uh, one of the keys for us defensively going into the postseason is to try to solidify things a little bit better so that we're a little more consistent because of the fact that, again, in the more Carmel game, we played good defense, but we gave up some big plays.